welcome back to Harry Has a Cocktail, episode 39. Do you like my hat? Happy holidays to everyone out there. It has been a hell of a year, hasn't it? Yeah, I'm feeling pretty festive. Over the past two months of quarantine, Sean and I have been binging the Great British Baking Show. Needless to say, we're obsessed. And I asked him what kind of dessert that I might make. He doesn't really bake, but he loves to eat. <laughs> Don't we all? I asked him what dessert he might like for the holidays, and he asked for a bouche de Noël. Or, for all you Italian speakers out there, a Tronchetto di Natale. Since I've been studying Italian for a few years, I would prefer to call it a Tronchetto di Natale instead of a Bouche de Noël, which is French. A Yule log. If you've watched the show, they make a sponge cake and then they put cream in it and they roll it up and it looks like a log and, you know, with uh, meringue mushrooms and all that kind of stuff. Oh, I've already made the meringue mushrooms. Look at that. It's a mushroom made of meringue. Today I made the tronchetto di Natale and it was a little bit of a disaster, but I pushed through. It's in the refrigerator cooling right now. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. But it put me in sort of a festive holiday baking mood. So I decided what I wanted to make for episode 39 here today is eggnog. And I found a recipe that serves four, so you don't have to have a great big punch bowl of it. Eggnog cocktail. There's a lot of uh, conjecture about where the word eggnog came from. I can't profess to know the all the story. Some people think it might have come from an egg drink called posset that used to be drunk back in the, I don't know, I think it was maybe like the 1300s. I think they also, back in the olden days, they used to call any alcoholic drink grog. So I think it has maybe the word is from grog, nog, I don't know. Do you like my hat? Now, this is the first cocktail I've made on here where I'm actually going to have to do a little bit of baking, basically. This is hopefully going to be uh, really fun for you. It does take a little bit of labor, I'm guessing, because I haven't made it yet. You're gonna see me make it here for the first time with some fast forwarding, of course, special effects. Let me show you first what goes into the eggnog. First, we have bourbon. Now, you can use bourbon or rum or brandy. I have chosen to use bourbon. This is Four Roses bourbon. Kind of a middle of the road in terms of cost. It's not too cheap and it's not too expensive. And it has a really great flavor. I really like it. It's good to use in a mixed cocktail. It will also, of course, have eggs, sugar, whole milk, heavy cream. So it's pretty much a health food. And nutmeg. Now it called for freshly ground nutmeg, but how many of you are gonna go out and get a fresh nutmeg? I have used fresh nutmeg before and it's really wonderful, but it pretty much tastes like the stuff you get in the jar. So, here we go. Here is how you make eggnog. First, we are going to take two eggs and separate them, which I have conveniently already done. Here are my egg yolks and here are my egg whites. Now, into the bowl of egg yolks, you're going to add three tablespoons of sugar. One, two, three, and now, Beat the egg yolks and sugar together until they're fluffy. About three minutes. I'm still beating the egg yolks. Okay, now I said three minutes. You could do maybe four minutes if you wanted, but basically you want to do it until the yolks are pale yellow. Now into that egg mixture, you're going to add one and a half cups of whole milk. One and a half. A half a cup of heavy cream. Half. And finally, now remember you could use rum, brandy, or bourbon. And this is a half a cup of bourbon. Half. And nothing fancy here. You just want to stir that in to the yolk mixture that you made before. Mmm, yolks and milk and cream and bourbon and sugar. Mmm. Next, we're gonna do a little bit more cooking again. Two egg whites. Here we have our egg whites. And one tablespoon of sugar. One. It's a good idea to use clean, what are these? Beaters, because you don't want, I had some of the yolk here, and you don't want that to go into your egg whites at all, because now we're going to beat these egg whites and sugar until they're stiff. That's what she said. Until soft peaks form. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Okay, now that was a while. With the magic of photography, you can see soft peaks. 
So now fold the egg whites into the yolk mixture, the booze mixture. Let's fold. So now I'm gonna fold. And as Mary Berry says, you go around the outside and through the middle, around the outside and through the middle, around the outside and through the middle. You gotta watch the Great British Baking Show. So that's pretty good. I don't wanna mix it too long because I wanna keep that air in there because this is gonna look really pretty in our in our glass. And now you're gonna scoop it into a chilled glass. Oh, oh, they're so chilly. Look at these beautiful glasses that my sister-in-law Gina gave me. Was it for Christmas last year? Christmas two years ago? I can't remember Gina, you let me know. But they're chilled. You can also put these in rocks glasses, but I just thought these are very, these are incredibly celebratory. So I thought I'd use them. And I just happen to have a ladle. So I'm gonna ladle two helpings into these glasses. So I'm gonna get down in there with some of the alcohol. Oh. I'm just putting a little bit of the cream on the, the fluffy egg whites on the top. That was a little messy. And finally, garnish it with some ground nutmeg. Here we go. Oh, this is gonna be really festive and Christmassy. You can tell already. Look at those. Oh, that's gonna be good. Okay, let's try the eggnog. Oh, it's great. Tastes like eggnog. Because it takes a while to make, I see why they wanted you to put this in a rocks glass. It would be better if it's colder. It's, I'm just gonna add an ice cube to my fancy glass. You want it cold. By the time I drank this, it was a little warm. I don't think warm eggnog is really what you want. Oh yeah, that's so much better. There you have it, eggnog. I've got quite a few helpings here. Maybe, maybe. By the time we get to the holidays in 2021, I'll make a big batch and I can have some people over. For this Christmas, it's just gonna be me and Sean. Even though 2020 was a bit of a dumpster fire of a year, there are also a lot of things that I'm grateful for. First and foremost, Sean, I'm very lucky. I'm also grateful for all of my friends and family, all the friends that I have been able to see. It's been great to see everyone while socially distanced and masked, but hopefully, hopefully by next year this time, maybe we'll all be able to get together. Boy, that's gonna be great, isn't it? Christmas 2021 or Kwanzaa or Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate. I'm also grateful for you for watching Harry Has a Cocktail. Every time I post one of these and people have watched it, I'm like, wow, that's pretty cool. People wanna see me make a cocktail and then drink it. Happy holidays, everyone. I hope you enjoy the eggnog and we'll see you back here next time. Cheers.